From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your evening update. American Door Company has been family owned and operated for over 29 years, supplying Northern California with quality garage doors, garage door openers, and installed with the best service you'd expect from a locally owned company. We serve all of Northern California from Willows all the way up to the Oregon State Line. Give us a call today. Good evening, everyone. Showers and thunderstorms are still in the forecast here for this evening, but they'll be wrapping themselves up tonight. And by tomorrow, most of us, and I mean most of us, not everyone, should be looking at dry conditions. And if you do see any activity tomorrow, boy, it's not going to be a big deal. And, and most of it will be in the early morning hours, but we'll get into all of that here in a second. Cooler, but mainly dry the rest of the week and possible showers by early next week. But we're also going to talk about that as well because it's not looking all that promising, at least at this point. Do you want to talk about the winds? Because if you get caught under a thunderstorm today, if you, if you got caught under a thunderstorm today, you may have experienced some gusty winds. And that will continue into the evening and overnight hours. But notice kind of just overall, we're seeing some areas of gusty winds. But notice as we go into your Tuesday, overall the winds are dying down. Now again, this is an indication that we're not really expected to see much in the way of thunderstorm activity tomorrow. And the winds overall are kind of dying out. So the overall setup that we saw today, and we'll probably see even through tonight, you see all this, see these speckled clouds, that is cold air. And we can also kind of put into that definition and unstable air as well. So cold and unstable air. Now what that means is exactly what you see here. You've got a mixture of sun, some clouds, and embedded within some of those clouds are disturbances where we see thunderstorms and showers. You can kind of see one right here. That'll probably be impacting us, of course, sometime tonight. All right, so here's what we got going on. You can see six o'clock tonight. You'll notice the snow, but that's going to be mainly above, say, four or 5,000 feet. I think places like El Turris, yeah, tonight you could see some snowflakes, not to mention places like uh, Susanville, uh, maybe Chester, right? But not a ton. This is all going to be moving out. By tomorrow morning, we're going to be focusing our attention on the north coast. Tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., showers, thunderstorms are a possibility. This could include parts of western Siskiyou County as well. Notice the snow. We could see some snow flurries in some areas as well. But by the afternoon, notice, you see how there's a little bit of activity kind of popping up here and there? So if you live in the mountains in particular, don't be surprised if you see a stray shower here and there. But that's it. I think the valley will be looking at dry with mostly sunny skies. Then we go into uh, t Tuesday night and into Wednesday morning. It's dry. In fact, Wednesday, through the, it'll be dry through the entire day with mainly sunny skies. Now, looking at the long range, maybe sometime around Thursday night will be the next disturbance. This one's very weak and could bring some activity for the North Coast late Thursday night and into early Friday morning. But you can see it just breaks apart by Friday morning, 8 a.m. It's dry, but just some clouds out there. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, this particular forecast model keeps us dry through the weekend and even Monday of next week. Take a look at this storm system right here. See the rain? If we were looking at the European forecast model, this would be right on top of Northern California. So we're seeing a big discrepancy between the two long range forecast models. So for now, I'm including a chance for showers in the forecast for Monday, but just know that's not 100%, uh, you know, not 100% uh, something that we just feel confident in, right? When we're talking about the chance for rain on Monday, but something worth monitoring and checking out as we go through the next few days. Wave heights are dropping slightly into your Tuesday, but still we have a small correct advisory through the afternoon on Tuesday. There you can see your wave, winds that is from the north at five to 10 knots for your Tuesday with uh, west winds at about 11, excuse me, west waves, waves out of the west that is 11 feet at 13 seconds. I knew I could get it out. We can communicate that to you. All right, let's take a look at what we've got going on here as we take you into tonight. Now, I've still got lightning strikes in here, but again, as I mentioned, things are wrapping themselves up tonight. But everyone still has a chance for a shower or a thunderstorm in the evening and into the early overnight hours. By tomorrow, though, most of us are dry. I don't have any raindrops coming from any of these clouds here. But again, keep in mind, especially for the mountains, you could see a stray shower through the afternoon on Tuesday. Still cool, not seeing much of an increase in the temperatures. If anything, they actually may drop by a little bit here for tomorrow. So your 7 day outlook for Mount Shasta, Siskiyou County. Notice I've got AM showers Thursday night, Friday morning, maybe a, a light shower, but nothing major. Veterans Day, Sunday, looking dry. Now, Monday could very well be dry, but as I mentioned, I'm going to include a chance for showers for everyone as we go into your Monday of next week. 
So for Modoc County and for uh, the Eastern Mountains, you're dry Tuesday and should be dry through at least the weekend, if not even into early next week. Now, again, with that said, we could see a stray sprinkle or a light shower for tomorrow afternoon for Modoc County, for the Eastern Mountains, but the valley will be dry today with mostly sunny skies. Still cool. It's warming up a little bit for Wednesday, but staying cool for the next seven days. I've even included a chance for showers Monday for the valley, but again, that depends on which forecast model you look at. So we'll certainly keep a close eye on that, but just be aware that the potential is out there for this upcoming Monday. Looking at your seven day outlook for the North Coast, we've got showers and thunderstorms Tuesday morning, tomorrow morning, but it will be dry through most of the day. And then, of course, that's the case inland and for Trinity County as well. By the way, the inland areas could also see those early morning thunderstorms as well. And then it's dry for Wednesday, dry through most of the week. Now, Thursday night into Friday, you saw that on Futurecast, maybe some light showers. Dry for the weekend, and as I mentioned, maybe just maybe a chance for showers by next Monday. But that could change as we get closer to the weekend.